Hey, science lovers, it's Becky with Lab Ride Academy, and I am out here at the Pacific Ocean in Monterey, California, and it is low tide, which is so amazing because you can see so many things in these tide pools. And I was just looking at these sea anemones, which were actually named after the flower called the anemones because these sea anemones are just almost as colorful as the flowers, which is very cool. Now, I was looking at the structure of these sea anemones. They have this column that is attached to a polyp. It's kind of this foot at the bottom that attaches to a hard rock and sometimes they're in soil. But at the top of it, it has this oral disc on the top with these tentacles. At the end of these tentacles, they have nidocytes which sting their prey like fish and small creatures. Now, the venom is called actinotoxins. They're not dangerous to humans, but there are some really large species of these that can be dangerous to humans. But the ones that are, you normally see around the tide pools are not. When these sea anemones are ready to eat, they grab their prey with their tentacles and they bring those tentacles, they retract them towards their mouth and they have that mouth in the center of their oral disc. They put that food in there and they take it down into a pharynx and they have an incomplete digestive system, which means that their mouth brings it in and then they, after they're done digesting it, it goes right back out the mouth, which is now an anus. So the mouth and the anus are pretty much the same thing. <laughs> That's crazy. And during low tide, when the water is out, these anemones will retract everything into a tiny little ball so they can hold on to the water as long as possible until the tide comes back in and then they can open back up and continue to feed. Wow, science is so amazing. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. God bless you and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.